The Battle of Steelsmith. Led by Talia, the brutal Evil's army had reached the dwarven town of Steelsmith and made ready to storm it. Inside, the fierce dwarven king Grimly planned its defense. All right, you lazy buggers, get ready. That evil horde is going to show up with that pointy-eared cow any moment now. But Steelsmith is a fortress like none they've ever seen. So take your positions and don't forget the elf is mine. <laughs> I'm going to make slippers out of her ears. Did you hear the rumbling? They're here. I feel it in my right corn. Send out the scouts and prepare the Death Hammer! Finally, the time of the great battle was at hand. Talia's troops had taken the quickest route from the Ash Spring Swamplands, and they were full of anger and determination to win this final confrontation. I wouldn't say that. I'm still trying to persuade myself to return to the forces of good. <sighs> okay. A part of Talia burned with anger and determination to win this final confrontation. Another wanted to form work groups and look after the bonsai garden. Ugh, ignore my little moments. I'm going to crush that god's damned dwarf. He's made his last stupid comment about elves. I'm going to make gloves out of his beard. What's this whole thing about everybody using bits of their opponents for slippers or gloves? That's incredibly unhygienic. <laughs> the time had come. Talio began to raise a great army for the erratic evil. I knew you'd need me.
Open those pointy ears of yours. I have a surprise for you when the hell is on. Something world shaking. Come on, men! Fire the death hammer! By the goddess, is that. Grimly had had a gigantic hammer built. The death hammer. This caused not only a disturbance in the force, but also in the ground causing a massive earthquake. The effect on the dungeon was clearly noticeable. The dungeon heart in particular could only withstand but a few such blows. Yeah. How do you like that, you damned evil blue? Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, we just have to take a few minutes to rewind. But it was damn well worth it. Stay and enjoy the show, evil scum. In his own lovingly insulting manner, Grimly made it clear to Talia and the perplexed evil that pulling back would not be an option. The giant hammer had to be destroyed. <sighs> we can't stay here. That thing has to be destroyed. After analyzing it briefly, I've discovered a great weakness. Throw something through the two-meter-wide cooling vent to destroy the reactor? What? Nonsense! The thing is standing right there, so we can smash it to pieces! Oh, why did I expect sophisticated tactics when I'm hanging around with bloodthirsty, not exactly intelligent, evil creatures? Consider your deeds. You can still turn back. No one need die today. Except these disgustingly evil creatures, perhaps. But certainly neither Grimly nor you. This bloke is more stubborn than those phone marketing people who are always trying to get me to buy some shite. Uh, I too think that we should maybe rethink this. Uh, it is now time for dwarves to die! Let's <laughs> go. 
heroes want to attack one of your islands of evilness. So much for your yes, Hammer Grimly. Oh, did we break your toy? Are you going to cry like a little baby? <laughs> <laughs> You'll pay for that. Don't be giving yourselves any medals yet. The Dwarven Empire will strike back. Of that you can be sure. Um, <laughs> we could still solve this peacefully. Uh, uh, you? Now? Really? In my moment of triumph? There is nothing you can't ruin, is there? Sorry. <laughs> Holy crap! You're even good to me! Sister, you have some real issues. I have to go take care of a Dwarven King and tear his city apart. Follow me. To Steelsmith! Bye bye, baby! Who do you want to kill? <sighs> These cowardly dwarves have actually blown up the bridge. I mean, it's good for my ego to be feared that greatly, but how are we going to get through there now? Time to take up the trash. Destroy them all! Having a look around Evil's army had discovered a stone heap. Just a little brute force, and it would fall into the ravine to form something like a bridge. <laughs> Computer game logic. The half-blind Evil had yet to find another way over the demolished bridge. Had it even really searched for one? Needing an alibi, it quickly sent a few creatures swarming out as a vanguard. Oops, this evil vermin is faster than I thought. We have to speed things up. All right, men. Activate the second death hammer. Another one of those things? Ah, oh, damn it all anyway. Get ready for impact. With a kaboom, the second death hammer hit on the ground and sent its destructive waves toward the dungeon. The dungeon heart groaned under the blow. 
This death hammer also had to be destroyed quickly in order to save the dungeon heart. Just to make sure nothing happens to my poor little hammer, I also built an SLD-26 magical tower shield generator. So knock yourselves out! <laughs> Generously, the foolish Dwarf King Grimly revealed the safety mechanisms to the listening and taking notes evil. Before the second death hammer could be turned off, a team would have to land on Endor. <coughs> I mean, the eager for a Star War evil had to destroy the magic shield. Right then. First, we'll destroy the magical tower, and then death hammer number two. No problem. We're good at breaking things. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Off my SLD 26 magical tower shield generator. Hey, Grimly, your toys break easily. My pals barely got their hands on it and it broke. <laughs> so, people, let's have a look at this second death hammer, shall we? Keep your hands to yourself and I'll bite your fingers off, you god's damned wench. Right, men, prepare. The Death Hammer! Grimly seemed a little desperate upon seeing the occasionally gigging as a stand-up comedian evil turned out to be a brilliant strategist. It relentlessly sent its armies towards the second Death Hammer. are pretty fragile, aren't they? Grimly, I think I accidentally broke both your hammers. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'll strangle you in the bare hands, Gil. You god's damn disgusting! In order to make sure we don't have to cut out all of Grimly's cursing, I'll just take over here. The brilliant evil had succeeded. The second Dwarven Hammer was also history, and its army marched inexorably towards the Dwarven town of Steelsmith. Something else permeated the smell of metalworking that wafted from the city towards the dungeon. The smell of the Dwarves. For good reason, too. We're going to tear the city apart. Uh, we could still return to the side of good. Uh, let me think about it for a second. 
uh, no. Hey, Talia, I have a surprise for you. You know that all good things come in threes? Ugh, honestly, do you have another one of those damn death hammers? A death hammer? Ha! <laughs> I have three death hammers! What? The whole thing times three? Not very imaginative, if you ask me. You are so... Stop! Hammer time! Together, the three death hammers had a lot more power than a single one. It would certainly be better for the Dungeon Heart if they too were quickly put out of action. There are enemies in your dungeon. Your dungeon heart is under attack. Take care of you myself. For death and glory, the horn of Grimly Hammerhand shall sound in the deep one last time. Men, let this be the hour when we draw swords together. Now for wrath, now for ruin, and the Red Dawn! Finally. Your final hour has come. I am the evil. What?
stuff, baby. Heroes want to attack one of your islands of evilness. With these words, Grimly, the Dwarven King, breathed his last. A well-earned victory for evil! Ha! All the legends and stories that revolve around good heroes. Utter nonsense. In the end, evil will always triumph. Time to enjoy my victory. Talia, what have you done? You killed Grimly! I will have to punish you for this. Stay where you are. I'll be there in a couple of hours. <laughs> Apparently, Thanos was anything but enthusiastic about his foster daughter's deeds. The insightful evil knew that a confrontation was not yet advisable, and ordered Talia to travel west. Always west. Uh, we could always wait for Father and try to explain everything to him. Oi, 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 oh, come on. Even my good side can't be that naive. He'll skin me alive if he gets his hands on me. There's no way I should get anywhere near him until his anger is cooled. Oh, unfortunately, I'm afraid I have to agree with my evil me. We should let the grass grow over the whole thing first. Oh, good and evil in agreement. A rare stroke of luck, I'd say. So, it was time to run. Here, the only problem was, as usual, his own death. After the Dwarven King Grimly suffered a premature death at the hands of the hero-beating evil's armies, the Dark Elf Talia got herself out of Dodge. She took the evil creatures and retreated into the tunnels and mines of Steelsmith, which were connected to the most remote places in the world. The hasty departure proved to be very wise indeed, for shortly afterwards, Thanos appeared on the scene, and with him, a mighty army of good. When he found his dwarven friend's lifeless body, he screamed his pent-up anger out into the world. 
as overly emotional heroes are often prone to do. A few hours later, Thanos gathered with his two remaining comrades and commanders in his tent. We will now repeat approximately what was said. I, 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 the evil will destroy us. We are lost. Wail, wail, and so on. In the end, Thanos called his fellow soldiers to order and commanded them to return to their respective empires and strengthen their defenses. So it was time to do what all good folks do hide themselves behind thick walls in fear and hope that the storm would pass them by and hit the others. How exceedingly honorable. In the meantime, Thanos sent out some spies to track down his evil student. The Dark Elf had, by then, beaten her way through the mines of Steelsmith, accidentally awakened an army, and fled from a whip-swinging demon the usual stuff that happens when traveling through dwarven tunnels. At least they had left Thanos and the armies of good far behind them, and now moved almost unmolested through the countryside, determined to continue spreading chaos and horror. <laughs>